Hello students, in this video we'll discuss maximum likelihood estimation with complete individual data. Suppose that x is a random variable with PDF f of x, and that this PDF depends on a parameter of theta. So my PDF will depend on this parameter of theta, which we're gonna, we don't know anything about from the start. Okay, that's my PDF. And we realize, we make n realizations of x. So we say that x can be maybe little x1 through x being little xn. We realize the random variable n times. And my objective now is to use these observations, x1 through xn, to estimate my parameter of theta, right? So our question with maximum likelihood estimation, question, how can we estimate, how can we estimate theta using x1 through xn? In one approach to this, one very good approach, we can use maximum likelihood estimation. And so what we'll do is we're going to consider a function. We'll consider a likelihood function, likelihood function. Our likelihood function is going to be L of theta, L capital of theta. And what it will be is it's going to be F of x1 all the way down multiplied times F x2 theta, F x n theta. So I multiply the PDF at each of the realizations of the random variable, and I get this function over this product of functions. This function, in some sense, is telling me how likely that theta is going to be given those observations, because this, in some sense, is fx1 given theta, is essentially, up to a small perturbate, up to a small scale, essentially the localized probability that the random variable x will be equal to x1. So we can think of this really as approximately, in some sense, this is in a rough sense, the probability that x is equal to x1 times all these probabilities. So what we're doing over here is we're assigning the higher this, the higher this L of theta is, the larger L is, the more likely it is that the theta parameter was chosen correctly. So the larger L is, the more likely that theta was a good estimate. Now, with this product structure, so my goal now is I want to find out the theta that maximizes this. So theta, MLE, the estimate for the parameter theta, which is the arg max over all theta of L theta. And this arg max notation just means find for me the maximum theta, find for me the theta which maximizes this, i.e., this is the theta which maximizes which maximizes L of theta. Now there's one standard trick, and one, we'll see this, exa in this example in future videos, a standard way to maximize this, a standard way to find the maximum is to consider L of theta, little l of theta, which is the natural log of L capital of theta. And this random variable over here is called the log likelihood. This is the log likelihood. If we can maximize the log likelihood, because remember what the logarithmic derivative is, the derivative of the logarithm of a function, if you have a log of a function, if you have the log of f of x, and you do the derivative of this, you get f prime of x over f of x. So if you want to find the spots where the derivative of the function is 0, it suffices to find points where the derivative of the log of the function is equal to 0. You'll get the same exact values. Thank you very much.